decent size, a small one. Oh, it's got to be 45, I've seen. Snack around on elk. See, they like that lure. That's legal. Is it? That? Yep, that's nearly 48. Yeah, that'll be 45. Yeah, it's got to be 45. I've got a snot. My first snot. No, it's my second snot. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe they say snock, hey. Like, you say, what? What are you talking about? The first time, the first time I heard him say that, I went, What are you talking about? What? Snock? Oh, you mean snook? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> I was on, um, oh, what was it on? Was it on Mate, just catch some more fish. Day everyone, welcome to another video out on the boat with Mr. Lee. So I'm going to let the cat out of the bag. I mean, we've got four crabs so far. We, we've we've only uh, been crabbing for oh, not too long now. But this is the mate that went out twice and got zero crabs. So I've decided to take him out to get crabs. So uh, keep his keep his wife happy as well. So yeah, we'll see how we go today. So here we are bringing in uh, two at a time with each net. So I had to explain to Lee what these were, that they were called crabs, because it's been so long since he's seen them. He, he didn't know what they were. And you got another one in there, so excellent. So we're get, getting close to about 10 now. Um, before you dump that one, I'm gonna put some more bait in that. But yeah, yeah, they're very productive so far, it's great. Oh, Lee would have got here. Oh, get your, where's the squid jag? Where's the squid jag? Oh, we got no squid jag. Can you quickly put a squid jag on this one? Drop that. Just drop it. Put a squid jag on this one. Grab it out of there. blue bucket there, save my carpet. Yep, grab that blue bucket. Oh, yeah, yep. just put it in the blue bucket. Got a bit of ink all over my carpet. Head of pinkies from Glenelg, right? Sunhook these and get them on their way. But they were actually uh, squid lures, weren't they, for the moment? Squid lures. And a snook. Yeah. See you, buddy. Yeah, the other one. Only they were legal. Yeah, the other one's a bit bigger, but. Yeah, like these uh, circle hooks. Caught in the corner of the mouth. So yeah, last time I was out here, we caught about six of these. So they're everywhere. But right, we've had squids, squids on the bite. Squids on. Squids on. All right, excellent. Let's go for it. It's getting plagued by these things. Yeah. 
Get your school around, we might be in for a move because this is all we're catching. <laughs> Serious. So I actually worked out what the what one of the things he was doing wrong. You ready, Lee? Oh, here we ready go. for this? Here we go. My nine-year-old daughter pulls crab nets in faster than Lee. So I've told him get out of first gear, get it in a second, put your back into it, and now he's pulling up like crab nets with uh, three with crabs in them now. Right, well done, Lee. You're going home uh, with a feed today. Instead of going to Sam Tass. Instead of going to Sam Tass and telling your wife you caught five crabs. No, they, they were cooked when I caught oh, them. Oh, did you? We say, look, she, you I, I caught them and they were cooked as well. You, Amazing. You, or you cooked them on your kayak. Cooked them on my kayak. Yeah, all right, awesome. from their, their top lip. Yeah. yeah, they're slimy suckers though. Oh, you devoured that one. Alrighty. Yeah, and he's 27. Excellent. Slimy suckers. Come on, man. Oh. Uh, a crab just flew out your net. Yeah, just saw it come out your net. You're going to be quicker. One come out, I just saw it. So you're going to pull it in as fast as you can. Again, like I was saying, my nine-year-old daughter pulls a crab <laughs> net in faster than him. I just saw it come out the net. Let's go look at your crab. Yeah. Well, these are two decent ones. Mate, this one's actually hooked in the mouth with my hook. Yeah. So yeah, that one would have had uh, two in it. All right, yeah, getting some good ones again. So how many new was that? 24, so this is 26. Excellent, going home with a feed. Um, we're going to change spots, uh, not because we're not catching anything, just some different scenery. Because I know wherever I, we know, wherever I go, wherever we go, we're going to catch crabs. But I just wanted to get on some other fish species as well. Um, so I caught one garfish here, but where the Glenelg blocks were, we kept on catching those snappers. So I moved from here. The garfish have gone off, so we're just catching crabs. So yeah, a bit of a move, huh? What do you think? Yeah. Do it. Um, have you got both of those in? Yeah. Um, so I've got that one and this one to come in. Oh, yeah. No, I haven't even put oh, these yeah, nets in. So we're just running four nets today, but yeah, you've got to be quick. Oh, something pinched a bait out of this one. Alrighty, stingray or something on it. Right, got a rock crab there. Throw that back. All right, let's move. So, oh, that one I pulled in. I'll pull this one in a second. So we've just come to the Sea Cliff Boriton area, and they seem to be bigger around here. Bigger. When we were first off West Beach, they were they were small. We we're throwing in a lot of little ones back, but yeah, definitely bigger around here. Yeah, but we're getting professional at it now. Oh, you're getting professional at it. You well, remember yeah, what a crab looks yeah, like now. That's right. Real clear conditions, isn't it? We're not much squid around again. Don't know what's going on with them. Man, so we were just talking about how there's no squid around. First cast. Oh, he oh. got! Oh. Put him back in, he's just gone down there. He's just sunk down again. Man, emotional damage. Emotional damage! Come on, Terry. Oh man, he just was grabbing onto it. All right, well I know they're there. Son of. Son of his bitch. <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> oh man, finally, like after hours. All right, I'm gonna uh, start uh, getting a bit serious with squid now. <laughs> God, it's 
just we were just talking about it, weren't we? How there's no so, squid and where we're all the squid gone. Oh, there's, oh one. there's one. All right. All right. No, I'm getting serious with squid now. Yeah. There's a heap of commercial uh, boats that do that. Yeah, it's pretty deep deep sea stuff. Yeah, I think. And they just pull it. But they're those little arrow squid. I yeah, mean, that's right. And those arrow squid. Like when I caught the two out here, actually, were so aggressive. I've never actually um, seen one. Oh, I didn't even know you could get them here. No, I didn't. And I caught two. So what's happened, Lee? Tell us what's happened in the last hour after that failed or oh, that little failed attempt. attempt. Yeah. Um, what's happened? We've got a few more crabs. We've got a few more crabs. We're up to 32 crabs. We Which is a little bit more than your effort previously, so... That's oh, because I've got my feng shui you, you, and you, my prey mantis in line at home. You, no, because you, you built your crab cooker, now you need the crabs I'm for your crab cooker. I've got my crab cooker tonight. Well, that's good, you got some crabs for it. So, we've, rebaited, we've rebaited the crab pot with fresh... Squid. Yeah, we pulled a squid head off. Um, some of the bait got pinched, I think stingray again, so we put a fresh squid yeah, head in. Oh, and we're using some Japanese Igimax Igimax Su. It's a spray you put on the squid jags, but it's uh, really good. Yeah, it's, it's the bottom of the tide right now. It's low, bottom of low tide. Yeah, so it's. Uh, and if the Igimax doesn't work, it would be great shame upon Terry's man. Yeah, but, but we're still pulling in crabs, so that's all right, but. Uh, yeah, zero squid after that, and so can bait, cockles and squid, and they're not being touched. Eggy Max does not endorse this fishing no, show. Well, Eggy Max can double as uh, deodorant anyway. But no, I think we'll, I don't know, as soon as we get, what we, what have we got? Eight more squid to go before eight we, before, uh, sorry, eight more crabs before we're bagged out. Yeah. And then maybe, I don't know, we'll go for a, maybe a bit of a troll or a drift or hip, head back to Glenelg around the blocks and see if the salmon schools around there. Or I don't know, I've got the snook. day off, man, don't care. Or a snook. Mm. Or a snook. Snook. In the eastern states, a snook. Snookums. Snook. Um, snook. Yeah, day off, don't care. Enjoying. Wind stayed sort of relatively light. It's come up a bit, hasn't it? But, yeah, hardly any swell. It's good. So, yeah, keep at it. Right, well these two are 41, and you haven't even pulled those nets in. So, all right, we've got our double bag limit. So, we'll stop crabbing, what's next? What are we doing next? Trolling for... Trolling for snock? For snock. Okay, well we'll do something. Uh, uh, caught, well, yeah, it, it grates on us how people from interstate call snook. Snook, or what do they, what do they call it? Snook? Here's an education lesson, people. <laughs> One O. Let Lee, the, the Lee, famous Lee, the crab educated. mission, crab fisherman, is going to educate you. Because when you have an one O like lot, it's a short O. When you have two O's together, it's it pronounced book. Like it's it's a long O. So snook has two O's. So there it's snook, not snock. Because it like, has two like two. snooker billiards. Like snooker, snooker. It's not snocker. <laughs> oh, I'm going to play some snocker. How's your snocker going? Oh, that's it. All um, right. And there goes the lesson. <laughs> Righty, there's the lesson. All right, pull up those nets, and that's it. We'll we'll try for something else now. Excellent. So that's what a day of crabbing has done. So you see they're, they're pretty tough claws on them. And then sometimes you'll get like Port Jackson sharks or stingrays and everything. But uh, yeah, completely destroy the bait basket. But, uh, yeah, that just held on to the end, didn't it? Just only to the end. That was your grandfather's bait basket. Yeah, it sure was from uh, 1932. Yeah, exactly. Extender. That's right. <laughs> an operation, a $10,000 yeah. operation to make a what, penis plasty. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, no, right which, which one do you think I should do? <laughs> yeah. right. You think I should go penis plasty or a boat? Yeah. <laughs> don't be stupid. Has she, she got a sense of humor? Yeah, she has. And I, and she'll say, don't be stupid. You're not getting penis plasty. Oh, I'm getting a boat then. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> Either way, it's a win-win. 